Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. So now we are still in chapter 2, Thermal Chemistry. We are going to focus on the new subtopic, which is 2.3 Hess's Law, part 2 of the video. So in this video, we are going to look into the dissolution process of ionic solid and do one example regarding the calculation involving the dissolution processes. So without any further ado, let us start. So dissolution process of ionic solid is basically a process by which ionic solid can form a solution in a solvent. So, the ionic solid will usually take a usual pathway, denoted as pathway 1, in which the ionic solid will dissolve in order to form M plus aqueous ion and X minus aqueous ion. So, this pathway is the usual one and it is very favorable. Where? Why is that so? Because the water molecule which acting as a solvent is a polar molecule. So, when an ionic compound dissolves in water, they will form two ions, which is M plus ion and X minus ions. So, the negative end of the water molecule will then be attracted to the positive ion of the M plus ion that has been dissociated. At the same time, the positive end of the water molecule will be attracted to the negative ion Cl minus here, which where the Cl minus ion here come from the dissociation of the ionic solid. And here are the example of ionic solid, which is NaCl. Okay, so the one that I talked just now is the usual pathway, which is pathway number one. However, the ionic solid in the solid state can also undertook the pathway number two here, where pathway number two involves two steps, step one and step two here. Okay. So in pathway 2, it involves two steps, where in step 1, uh, it will first involve the dissociation of lattice. So from the NaCl solid state, it will, it will be dissociated to form M plus gaseous ions and X minus gaseous ion. And this process will involve energy absorption because you need to break the bond in the solid state uh, in the solid state in order to be separated into a gaseous ion. Okay, so that's step number one. And in step number two, once the gaseous ion has been formed, you need to hydrate it under water so that the gaseous state can be converted into aqueous state for each of the species here. Okay, um, and these processes involve energy releasing because from a gaseous state, they will go back into the aqueous state. Okay, where the form are being nearer, so they need to be energy released so that they can be closer apart. Alright, and doesn't matter, uh, pathway 1 and pathway 2 will still give the same result. Okay, so we're going to look that in terms of the enthalpy value. So, at first, we have the ionic solid, Mx solid. And the usual pathway 1 will produce M plus aqueous ion and X minus aqueous ion. This is known as the enthalpy of solution. So this is pathway 1 that I showed just now, which is in the yellow color. Or you can take pathway number 2. Pathway number 2 here involves two steps. So step number 1, uh, um, you need to uh, have the lattice dissociation enthalpy where energy is being absorbed in order to break the solid um, lattice into form into forming uh, M plus gaseous ion and X minus gaseous ion. Okay, so this is the lattice dissociation and delphi. And then from the lattice uh, from the gaseous ion, you need to hydrate it under water, where this is known as the enthalpy of hydration, in order to form M plus aqueous ion and X minus aqueous ion. Okay. So this is the pathway number two. Okay, according to Hess law, doesn't matter which pathway that you take, as long as your initial point to the final point is the same, then the summation of heat or the summation of enthalpy will still be the same. Okay, so A going to C is the same as A going to B going to C. So the summation of Delta solution here is the same as the summation of del enthalpy lattice dissociation enthalpy of Mx solid plus enthalpy of hydration of M plus ion 
and the enthalpy of hydration x minus ion all right so a to c is the same as a going to b going to c okay so once you understand that let's do one of the example so in the example here you are given a data of the enthalpy of hydration of na plus which is negative 390 kilojoule per mole enthalpy of hydration of cl minus which is negative 380 kilojoule per mole and the enthalpy of solution of nacl which is plus a six kilojoule per mole so first we have to construct energy cycle diagram to represent the dissolution of nacl okay so we this one is we're going to show that in terms of step one sorry in terms of pathway one and pathway two and then once we constructed that we need to find the lattice energy of the nacl all right so first we're going to start with the dissolution of the ionic solid first so we can start with the equation of nacl solid goes into na plus equals plus cl minus equals as in pathway number one uh, pathway one here okay and this is known as the enthalpy of solution where the enthalpy of solution is given here plus six kilojoule per mole okay or they can take pathway number two which consists of two steps okay so nacl will first be dissociated into forming na plus caseous and cl minus caseous ions but we doesn't know the dissociation lattice enthalpy here so we can denote it as an unknown first so we have to find this one first okay and the na plus gaseous will then be hydrated to form na plus aqueous here and the cl minus gaseous also will be hydrated to form cl minus aqueous okay from gas to aqueous so na plus to na plus gaseous to na plus aqueous will have the enthalpy of negative 390 meanwhile cl minus gas to cl minus aqueous will have enthalpy of negative 380 okay and as mentioned pathway one here is the same as the summation of enthalpy here one up here and the other pathway here so we can say that delta h uh, delta solution of the nacl is equal to dissociation lattice enthalpy plus the enthalpy of hydration of na plus plus uh, enthalpy of hydration of cl minus so solution here is plus six dissociation enthalpy is unknown and a plus hydration is negative 390 cl minus here is negative 380 okay so we're going to find out the delta uh, the dissociation lattice enthalpy first where we're going to get it as plus 776 kilojoule per mole all right but now uh, we already find out the enthalpy of uh, the lattice dissociation enthalpy but they asked us to find the lattice energy of nacl lattice energy here is not the same as lattice dissociation energy okay instead it is the reverse way okay so lattice energy refers to the lattice of formation okay so lattice of formation means that instead of solid going to gas uh, it gonna be from gas ion into solid okay so it has to go at the reverse direction where lattice energy is denoted as the reverse direction so as you learned in the previous subtopic the if the direction goes in the different way different direction the magnitude is still maintained but the charges will be different where the positive sign will change into negative sign and hence you already found out the lattice energy of the nacl here which is negative 776 kilojoule per mole all right i think that's all for this video so in this video, you have learned about these solution processes and you already learned about the example regarding the dissolution processes according to the uh, values that were given in the question. Alright, so I hope you find this video helpful. See you again some other time. Bye!